Hey everybody, Ramblin' Pam here. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at what's left of the ghost town of Blair, Nevada. We started out at what remains of the old Klondike right away. Not much is there anymore and the ground has so much saline in it that you can see that it just ate away at this railroad spike. A short distance away we stopped at Alkali Hot Springs. I didn't go in it because it was pretty much filled with algae. This is Alkali Springs, Hot Springs. In the 1930s, the town of Alkali used to be operated as a spa by Jenny and Joe Gusti. At its peak, the site included an indoor swimming pool, a large building with a dining room, kitchen, and a dance hall. This is what's left of the town now. Our road took us through the Rockwood Lithium Project. It's now Albemarle. Uh, lithium mining out here on Silver Peak Road outside between Goldfield and Tonopah. It's the only active lithium mine in North America. In the distance you can see the lithium pools. Soon we came across the town of Silver Peak. In 1906 the Silver Peak Mining Company began buying mines in the Silver Peak area. Land speculators in the Silver Peak area also began buying up all the land in that area and that jacked up the prices. The Silver Peak Gold Mining Company had plans to build the 100 stamp mill in Silver Peak, but when the land speculators bought up all the land and jacked up the prices, Silver Peak Gold Mining Company was secretly making alternate plans and a mile and a half down the road, they ended up building their stamp mill, and that is what became the town of Blair. Also in 1906, the Pittsburgh Silver Peak Gold Mining Company built the 17 and a half mile Silver Peak Railroad and linked it to the Tonopah and Goldfield Railroad. By the end of that year, Blair had saloons, a two-story hotel, stores, and approximately 700 residents. These are the mill ruins that are left here that you can see. This was the largest stamp mill in Nevada that was erected in 1907. By about 1915, it was determined that the low-grade ore that was being brought out of the mines was no longer profitable. The mill and the railroad ceased operation. By 1920, Blair was pretty much a ghost town. It's been hard in America It's been tough feeling sad It's been hard in America I never thought Get so bad. There's a reason why we don't give up. There's a future here, my Lord, I pray. And yeah, it's true, we 
can make it through all this We might be better off one day So there's still a little bit of uh, ruins out here that you can see and uh, some old buildings and it's pretty remote. It's a face off and the jackrabbit wins. <laughs> This is the end of the trail for the town side of Blair. Oh man, it is a hot day out there today. Even though there's not a lot left of the ghost town of Blair, Nevada, I still had a lot of fun exploring. But before I go, if you haven't already, please hit that like button and hit the bell and you'll be notified of future videos that I release. We're gonna get back on the road and catch up with you later. Bye.